Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. I'm back to another episode of Death Stranding. We're just gonna hop right into it because we're still in the middle of going to Mountain Knot currently, and uh, we're very close. And it's probably gonna be a few cutscenes, and hopefully we'll be, be progressing more of the story. So without further ado, let's hop right into it. I think to the left of me, this entire area is BTs or at least Timefall. So I think it should be fine. I don't have any container repair spray. Might have been a better idea to use container repair spray. Maybe I should drop my skeleton now, actually. Yeah, hold up. Yeah, it's been- yeah, it's destroyed. I guess finally, uh... It needs to be retired. So thank you to the junk dealer for providing us with this stuff. Okay, back to run. It's largely plain, so I doubt we'll trip over. But at the same time, I also know the moment we trip over... We're quite doomed. Honestly. Okay, so, so I think we should be skirting the edge right now, yeah. We'll just follow this upstream. And hopefully no other BTs. I kind of wish a lot of the buildings had uh, actually teleportation system. Like private rooms. And make things a lot easier. In the grand scale of things. And whatnot, you know, obviously. Because obviously when you when you teleport in between, the more private rooms you get, it's easy to save. But I guess also, yeah. Like I said before, most of the stuff in this game has a certain purpose. We might not see it yet though. Although I do have to say the container for the nuclear, for the antimatter bomb. It's quite ruined. Yeah, I agree with the guy who set up the auto paper here, but we need a lot more. And I'm not quite of a material giver kind of guy. Because the problem with auto pavers, I think, is you need to keep on running back and forth to get materials. So when you keep on running back and forth with materials, obviously that's going to get uh, a little bit hectic. Ooh, i got to cross the river. If I'm crossing the river, i got to do it up ahead. Yeah, i got to go back. Ooh. Crap, this is a little bit bad. I don't think I can make it across. It's probably a lot of red territory. Yeah, I'm right. Okay, I did not bring enough ladders for this. We're just gonna have to hope the bomb doesn't fully kill us. If it does, it's probably gonna be like the waterfall situation again. Respawn from the, the last time you were there. Right, let's see how the water looks. Okay, a bit of red. I don't think I can make it across here. Maybe I can make it more upstream. I'm gonna go more upstream. It's gonna be more rocks, I think. Or maybe I can get up here. Let's do this. Okay. Let's hope this works. Oh. Yep. Climb. Cause that's all red. I can't get across. Um. Yeah, it's really much red over here, actually. Hmm, don't even know what my best bet is at this point. Maybe I should have brought another ladder, honestly. Gotta put this down for now. Alright. Hmm. There really is no good way to do this, is there? Cause that's blue, but all the stuff in between is red. So obviously that's a bad thing. I don't think I can make it past the red thing fast enough. Oh shit! No, my bomb. Paddle right, paddle right. Paddle left? Paddle left? What? What? Mate, what? Okay, my bomb's holding though. So it's better than your standard stuff. That's for sure. Alright, let's get across. Just a little bit of red. We're not gonna dismantle the ladder though. There's no need to. I think this might be a possible option. Do we try to paddle across? Because as you can see, it's a bit of yellow. If we can sort of wade through it. But obviously, my stamina for Sam is not holding up. 
trying to stand up when you're not in the right zone. Okay. Whoa. Shit. I'm not quite going where I want to. Alright. So here's the tricky thing, I guess. We are gonna try to go through the yellow point. I guess we're gonna sit down. Yep. We're gonna get the stamina back up. So this little central area is yellow. We'll try to get across to the opposite coast through that. And hopefully we won't have any more issues, I guess. Uh, hopefully no other issues. Though if I have to say though, the stamina rate of replenishing is so low. It actually is quite low. All right, let's do this. All right, time to go. Let's try not to damage the bomb, shall we? Okay, so it's gonna be yellow here, I think. So mostly yellow. If I can hold on enough, but it, it drains really quickly. Okay, we are gonna try to pedal. We just gotta turn Sam around. The problem is he doesn't go around really where you want to go sometimes, when, especially in the water situation. Shit. Shit, paddle right, paddle right. Hey! This strategy actually worked. It's a really shitty one, but... Honestly, I think it works. Because... If the antimatter bomb case isn't too, doesn't deal like too badly with water... I would say for sure... You can use the paddle strategy. I think the paddle is more of a last resort, honestly, at this point. Right, how far are we? Okay, it's on the right. Yeah! Just gotta get over a couple of uh, mountain ranges. Hopefully, no enemies, no BTs. And we'll just try to get there sort of as fast as possible. Ah, shit. It's BT territory, isn't it? I always say one thing and immediately it somehow comes over and it's always the bad stuff. Like it never happens when it's the good stuff, but it's always the good it's always the bad stuff that will happen when, when I sort of say it might happen. Never good the good stuff. I just hope it actually isn't BT territory and it's just time fall. But the rain is getting heavier. Okay, I think we can skirt more to the right though. I think we're right on the edge of the sort of time fall territory. So I think we can sort of make it across on the right side of this little timefall area. We shouldn't have too much of a BT problem. I think that's the base. I see it right there, sort of up ahead. Ooh, look at that. I think we've only seen like one actual upside down rainbow. So this is like two of them crossing with each other. I don't know if that's a map error. Like if that's a map error, if that's something related with actual lore. All right. Yeah, we're starting on the edge of this. We're good. So I think we just need to move towards here and towards the right, I think. And we should be good. You know, there's actually something that interests me. I, I don't know if this is an actual part of the system. It just sort of hit me. I wonder if chiral crystals are also related to whether people have defeated BTs at that point. It's possible. That's a, it's interesting to think about how they spawn it. Oh yeah! We're definitely close now. With a track like that, definitely. Let's get it. Let's get to it. Let's get to that base. And we can rest, finally. It feels like it's, such, it's been such a long time, though. Ah, oh, crap. Wait, hold up. It was up there. Oh, okay. Whew. I was worried that there will be a random river of some sort. Oh, shit. I need to find an easier way to slide down. Yeah. If I fell down and tripped over... This bomb go boom, and I would have wasted my entire journey up to now. <laughs> Whoa. Whoa. Chill there, Sam. Don't trip. Don't trip, or we're all gonna die. Okay. Alarms down. If we kept on beeping, I would have been worried. Let's get going. I wonder if it would be too risky to run right now, because a lot of this is like dry land ish. There's just a couple of rocks here and there. I'm guessing if I sprint on the main road, it should be fine. Main road, here we come. 
Ooh, what are those floating rocks? That doesn't look good, guys. Here we are, Mountain Knot City. And there's a lot of floating rocks, which suggests a void out. Maybe they're just dropping the bomb in that tar pit. But yeah, that is quite a bit of tar bubbling up. Yeah, we're finally here, guys. After a long while, we're finally up here in the mountain city. Mountain Knot. We are good. Let's get running for this last little pace. Hopefully we don't trip and accidentally blow this up. Just like that. That would be fun. Decontaminating suit. Rest is advised. Here we go. Might be a good time to take I agree with Sam actually. Feels like it's been a while. Like a very long while, but I can't tell. Alright, here we go. Delivered the requested cargo, the antimatter bomb, which is partially damaged. Delivery complete. Displaying performance evaluation. Oh what? No one to meet me? Oh you're kidding me, right? 1%. So I think that's good. Nice, S grade. Yeah. Barely even a star. That's sad. Cargo condition. Okay, looking good. That voice. Is that you, Mama? Uh, you hit your head there, Mama? I'm not yours, and yours is no kind of mother. Alright, enough games, Mama. <laughs> I don't think you heard me, mister. Mountain Knot City is telling you and the UCA to take a hike. You people keep doing what you're doing, and you're gonna put us right back on the road to the Death Stranding. We didn't ask for you to come and tell us how to live our lives. We'll decide that for ourselves, thank you very much. All we want from you is the occasional delivery. Nothing else. So you speak for the city. That's right. I'm in charge. The name's Lochna. Lochna? Hold up, I, I need to talk to you. You're a technician, right? Look, go home and don't come back. Listen to me, damn it. I need your help. Well, we don't need yours, Bridges. You're only making things worse. Ouch. <laughs> Outright rejected. Sorry you had to deal with that, Sam. She's the boss over there, and she's not afraid to lay down the law. We need her, and we need her people. We've lost too many others as it is. Without Mountain Knot City, the Cairo Network and the UCA will never be complete. What now? So, here's the thing. Sam, Lachna is Mama's twin sister. Former Bridges one. Went west with the others. Second group, just like Mama. Mama's not her real name, of course. That'd be Malingan. Both have dooms and both are scientific geniuses. Mama's primary field of expertise is applied physics. Lochna's is theoretical. Mama designed the Cupid hardware. Lochna, the software. They said they could converse over any distance. Said they had a special bond that led them. I don't know how that's possible, but I'll tell you this. There wouldn't be a chiral network without them. They were so close that some said they were like one person in two bodies. Might be why they were able to develop the Cupid. But they had a falling out after Molingan's accident. Lochna left bridges and cut off all contact with us. I don't know what happened between them. But if we don't bring Lochna around, our plans to make America whole again are finished. Not that I'm asking you to stick your nose in their personal business. Though if you did, it might help us figure out how to bring Lochner around. Which would be great, because our plans to make America whole again are finished without her. In the meantime, if you've got any bright ideas, feel free to give them a shot. Man, talk about stakes. Good work. Okay. 
So I'm guessing find a way to change Loch Ness mind might be to take an order or two. I don't know for sure. I want to see if I can take a private room though. Better than nothing. Uh, guess not. So I guess we'll activate the terminal for now. All right. Let's check the terminal just for anything. If there's orders or anything. Okay, so there's no there's no um the orders for us, but we do have a locker. So I guess there's really nothing left for us here right now. Uh I kind of hope we can actually have a method. Maybe we walk out of here. We'll get some answers about what to do. All right. Please somebody call me. Why will nobody call me? Ah. Great. I guess they're not giving us a method to um, persuade Lochne. Lochne? Yeah. Right. Let's get going. Weapons restrictions lifted. Okay. Hmm. Here's the thing. There's nothing on my map that could possibly ask me to change well, Lochne's mind. I don't have a chiral prints or anything, so I'm sort of stuck here. Ooh, look at that, heart-shaped uh, lake. Something beeping. I don't know what it is. So this will go back to, to the terrorist territory. I don't know what other method that could possibly be. Oh, look at all that, littered with stuff and around here. Uh, really have no idea. There, sh there sh probably should be some sort of thing. Let me just check this. Would you speak to Mama for me? Good news, Sam. The antimatter bomb should stop the tar from spreading. Thanks for that. Uh, could you go and talk to Mama about it? I've got a feeling they should patch things up. Ah, okay. Yeah, I got, I got my, I got my hint then. Okay. Oh, come on. Okay. This guy wants me to send another pizza, which means I need to go to the Timefall Farmer's place. But I guess. My main issue right now is I really don't want to go the full way back. Obviously, the, the main way for us here is just to get back to the distribution center north of Mountain Knot. That's that's the main thing we're going to go do. Uh, I really hope I have a vehicle for this, actually. But there isn't. Because it's not like anybody can leave me anything here, obviously. This is I kind of feel like this is a very weird part of the uh, story, though. To actually not have a thing about um, what could possibly do unless you read your mail. If you didn't read your mail, you would have been effed. Like you wouldn't know what to do. Okay, my footwear is about to run out though. At least I have uh, one of those shoe plants on me. And there's also nothing in my back except for the rifle. So we're good. Also, we're heading to the timefall area and I feel like there's going to be BTs, like plenty of it. But it shouldn't be an issue. Because obviously we don't have cargo, so we can run faster if we need to. And even if we void out, it shouldn't be too big of an issue. At least it probably won't hit Mountain Knot, I think, at this point. I just hope it's not BT territory, but it's just Timefall. Like, I think I think it applies for a lot of people as well. You know, you just hope it's, it's not BT territory and it's just Timefall. And, um... Spare your... Spare the thrill, you know? People think bridges are terrorists from Charles Khan. I think Charles Khan is the head of the Northern Distribution Center for for um, Mountain Knot. Mm. Handful's getting heavier. I have a feeling we're heading to BC territory. I'm just checking my weather right now. I'm just trying to get to this one. I'm gonna go to the safe house, I think. Because at least once I get there, I can teleport back all the way to uh, South Knot if I need to. It's gonna be a, at least way easier than walking all the way back. I'm guessing quite a few of you who might be watching this may have already seen the story and might know what's going on. I think I remember a bit of it too, but uh, let's not spoil it for anyone. So we're gonna get to the ladder, we're gonna get to the safe house, teleport back to South Knot, not, not the distro center, and talk to Mama. Maybe get another cutscene? So around at the end of the video I guess a little bit of a cutscene or maybe we'll get more maybe there'll be an order or something for us to do 
we're gonna have to see when we actually get there. I don't know. I don't know what to expect, actually. I know the story, I don't know what's in between. That's the thing, isn't it? I think I think a ten I think a lot of people who, who played Death Stranding probably have only seen the story more than the actual process in between, which I guess makes sense because you know it's a bit boring sometimes it's uh going through the entire process. Ooh shit. Yeah, like the entire process. It's frankly kinda of boring for a lot of people. But uh, I think the journey is part of the game. Some people dislike it. I, I would say, you know, let them dislike it themselves. I think the environment is beautiful. And it feels really isolated, which I guess sort of resonates with what people are trying to achieve with um, this game, you know? The entire isolation and bridging people back together. But I think even even if, you, if we do patch the entire thing together, as in like... Um, the entire UCA is connected. I still feel like um, they'll still be isolated in a way because obviously you can't teleport to every single building, and even with a lot of orders, you can't just teleport. I kind of wish you could teleport with your cargo. That would be really epic. I think. Ooh, whoa, that's epic. Really big uh, astronaut there. All right, let's get on this. Okay. Answer private room. Better to sort of rest up now than later. I mean, we already robbed of a uh, space to rest at Mountain Knot, so I guess we're gonna have to stick with the private room for now. And oop, nice blood transfusion, reverse trike repaired. But that's not gonna be our issue because obviously, um, we're teleporting. Ooh, this is new. The the safe house customization. This is new. Cool. What we're gonna do is we're gonna drink uh, the beer because the beer gives us some benefits, which is stamina. Just drink two cans. Hope hopefully it doesn't make us tipsy. As in, uh, drinking two cans won't make you severely drunk. I don't know what's the percentage on these cans. <laughs> At least it boosts stamina. Ooh, nice one. All right. So that's good. Let's get teleporting. Fragile jump. Uh, then we're going to stuff not. Yep, let's go. So, where do you want to go? Close your eyes. Picture it in your mind's eye. Oh, that's pretty epic. It reminds me of the very beginning of the game. Here we go. Like I was saying, it reminds me of the very beginning of the game when Fragile showed up for the first time. You know? That's pretty cool. K6, South Knot City. And we're ready to roll. I think we're ready to roll. Hopefully we are. Avoiding Autoxemia. Uh, then we can check our mail later But let's leave our private room since you know we teleport here. So let's get going to visit mama Yeah, who knows maybe we'll get some more interesting stuff Ooh, That's a new animation. They never did the top camera before Okay, I want to get myself some weapons because we got everything that's sort of left over uh, at the safe house, obviously. Standard orders, we're not going to do anything. We're going to get to Mama first. That's what we're actually going to do. Alright. Um, I need to get a level 2 non-lethal assault rifle. Um, and I'm also going to make a batch of hematic grenades. We haven't used these in a while. Also, some PCCs, shall we? Yep, just a couple of things, some assorted things. We'll just load everything, we'll just auto arrange the cargo. I'll probably use take whip out the gun already anyway, so it's fine. Cause I like to hold it. Gives me a uh, um just reminds me of Oh the, okay, thematic round, so uh just like the original assault rifle. 
Press triangle to switch the ammo type. And we're good. Oh crap, actually wait. We need new boots. We definitely need new boots. I don't know if we need a vehicle though or not. I might as well get one anyways. I think we got some heroes. Maybe I should deposit some Kyrelium while I'm at it. <laughs> so we're gonna fabricate some level 2 boots. Uh, and also one speed skeleton level 2. So we can auto range that cargo. And we can get this to equip. Yeah, there we go. That's what I'm talking about. Alright, must w might as well get a vehicle. Maybe I'll just check one out from the garage. Thank you, I'll steal that very nice gold uh, reverse trike. Oh my god, the gold looks so good. I gotta give likes because of the gold. <laughs> Not gonna lie though, um, compared to some of the other bikes, this is definitely looking a lot more fancier as well. I just hope they're not gonna miss this when they come back online. If they do come back online. Alright, let's get going. Hopefully it's not raining right now. Mama's place is just beyond the ruins. So we can just follow the road. And we should be fine. It shouldn't be BT territory, so I think we are safe. There's just a lot of uh, time fall here and there. Yeah, here we go. Try to stop for a nice little turn. But I just then got stuck in a rock instead. Ooh, I should have teleported to this one. That would have made a lot more sense. Doesn't matter now. Alright. Cutscene time. Let's go. again so I guess the baby is here ooh a new pair of handcuffs maybe we'll get those who knows hey Sam thanks for coming back got something for you these are your new cufflinks they still work as a terminal, but I've added a weapon function. I was able to redesign everything from the ground up after the last connection. And they're weapons too now. That's right. Cord cutters. Whoa. That's I epic. should explain. BTs are connected to the other side via umbilical cords, right? When those cords bring the matter of our world into contact with the antimatter of theirs, boom. Void off. But, just as Dead Man theorized, your blood does have unique properties. It can be used to cut a BT's cord. Oh, so that's epic. I've added that function. Cut the cord of the BT, and it returns to the world of the dead. So I don't need to use grenades or assault BT, rifles now the with uh, the cutters, so that should work for me. Ooh, that's pretty epic. I don't know if we can try these out though, because these are probably very close quarters, and uh, I'm definitely not the kind of person if we're going to try to get close quarters get close with BTs. Noticing, I like to stay yes. far away from them. Alright. That's pretty epic. I like the Cord touch of gold though. It feels very futuristic. Right. <laughs> Let's try them out. Oh no. I was. I thought something like this Cut might the happen. Cord connecting us. Uh oh. Oh man, no. Make sure she got plenty of milk. Just do it. Oh man, I don't want it. Do we have an option not Lazy. to? Set us free. This world was never hers, but all the same, I didn't want her to leave it. Even though she's already lost. Truth is, 
She's not really my daughter. The attack and everything, that was all a lie? No. That part was true. My ovaries can't produce eggs, and Lochna has trouble with her uterus. Long story short, neither of us can have children. I was all right with it. I mean, <laughs> children, who needs them, I thought. But my sister thought differently. Lochna wanted a child, someone to carry her genes. She fell in love with another member of Bridges, but he died in an accident. She was devastated, of course, as was I. Back then, strong emotions like that, I could feel hers and she could feel mine. When I sensed her desire to join him, to end it, I went to her and said, let's have a baby. We took one of Lachna's eggs and fertilized it with his frozen sperm. And I carried it to term. Oh, this is probably why they... A healthy baby grew inside me. Mm. But then, there was the attack. And... Our bond was severed. Oh man, that is really sad. I wanted to tell her. But I was bound to the child. I couldn't just abandon her. But I was wrong. Lachna needs to know. You have to break some ties to forge others. Can't be tied to everything. Oh man, this wasn't if how I envisioned this was gonna go. World, I need to reconnect with my sister first. So please, Sam. Do it. Oh, uh, I guess we have to. I'm sorry, Mama. Finally took her back to the world of the dead. I can't believe that even happened. Who knew? Sam, would you set me up? I haven't been outside in a long time. It's just too much to take in all at once. Are you sure? I thought you might be claustrophobic after your time in the rubble. I'll be fine, so long as I can see out of the bag. The warmth of the light, the touch of the wind, the scent of the world. Man, it's really far in a mountain nut though, so seriously, that is like way too far. So you're still connected. Okay, Sam. Let's go. Oh boy. It's gonna be a long distance though, so we're gonna have to definitely leave this for another video. Won't be able to make it unless you make this video really lengthy, so. PCC's on the ground though, just saying, but we're gonna leave this here for now because obviously there's gonna be a long path 
I mean, I guess I don't need to tell you guys, but I need to make this entire detour over here. So we're probably going to have to figure out a way to do it. My guess, my best guess is maybe to sort of cross over this area and get over here first. That's the main bit. I think once we're here, we're fine because I got a bunch of zip lines we can obviously use. I need to set up some new ones as well. Uh, and we'll be good, I think. But for now, it's, it's going to be a while. So I hope you guys are staying safe and staying healthy. And uh, until the next video, bye.